Hey everybody, it's Roberto, and it's time to geek out on some 4K goodness. Get ready for it. So I finally finished my 4K video editing computer. It is tremendous. It does great gaming. I'm enjoying Overwatch on this, but more importantly, I'm able to crank out more YouTube videos for you guys a lot quicker and a lot easier. This thing is crushing it when it comes to 4K video rendering, and it's a lot to do with the i7 four core processor and the GTX 1070 video card from Asus. This build has just made life easier. I still use the Mac for general web surfing and for some social media stuff, uh, especially when the computer is doing massive 4K rendering. But mostly, now that I have this, nothing competes with it. This also is helping improve the video quality of HD video dramatically over on the YouTube channel. A lot of you have seen that because I'm able to jack up the output settings and that's really helping quite a bit. Right now I have one 4K monitor uh, and an HD monitor. Both of those are from Asus, but I am going to be getting another Asus 4K video monitor and that's gonna just be the whole new setup from now on. I still don't know what I'm gonna do with this uh, 1080p monitor afterward, but we'll see. This was not a cheap setup. Overall, the components themselves were affordable, but doing it all really added up. It added up quite a bit. I think I maybe put 2K into the PC build itself, and then I put a lot of money into accessories and peripherals, things like the 4K monitor, and again, I'm getting a second one. So probably about maybe $700 just into the monitors between two of them. That's quite a bit. Then you also have to remember, I have a 4K camera now, the Panasonic Lumex G7. So that's just another thing that you have to tack on to a 4K build is you need the ability to actually shoot in 4K, not just edit and render in 4K. Also, just to make life easier, I upgraded to the highest speed internet connection that Time Warner Cable offers. Ultimately, I'm just really happy with what this build has allowed me to do, how it's gonna help me grow and expand the channel, and the fact that it's letting me take on and experience the challenge of 4K video, and I'm able to now give you guys a lot more advice on how to approach your 4K video projects, so that's something that's gonna be a lot of fun for me. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed me showing off my 4K video editing build uh, just a little bit. If you have questions about 4K video, leave those in the comment section. Uh, if you want to know what my build list looks like, go ahead and use the Amazon affiliate link in the description that goes to my entire build list. Also, I have the individual parts listed out for you as well. Anyway, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome non-4K video content on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching. And don't forget, create something awesome today in 4K or 1080p, either way.